some weeks back i told you guys i was going to show you some tricks and tips to help you design faster we're going to start with the first one and the first one is going to be moving between frames in your design now i'd like you to note that this only works for frames so if your design is not a frame it is not going to work so all you need to do is select the top of your design or select any of the frame and press letter n n for nathaniel <laughs> all right so we're going to type n and you can see what it does it basically takes us to the next frame and then we press n again it takes us to the next frame and that is how you can move between your frames so if i select this and it takes me here and it takes me there the next one i like to talk about is enter now the enter key on your keyboard is very powerful now if i wanted to select all the elements within this design within this particular um, bottom sheet i can do that using the enter key so i don't need to do that manually so let's say for instance i have some other simpler design uh, i'm just going to grab this one if I wanted to select everything within this design and I don't want to do them manually, start doing them one, two, three, all I can do is press enter. Now, some of them are frames, so we can press enter multiple times. So all you need to do is just select the frame, press enter. It selects all of them, all. You can select more because if you look within my frame, you're going to see some of them have some more stuff with them. So you can simply just um, press enter again to select only the text. It's going to select the text and with this, you can change the text color to whatever you want to do. All of that can easily be done with enter. Now, I'm sure you must have seen me zooming into things. I select anything and it just basically zooms into that particular type. This one works whether it's a frame or a shape or icon or whatever you want it to zoom into it will definitely answer you. To do this, all you need to do is press shift plus two. I use this a lot. To zoom into this guy, I'll just hold shift on my keyboard and press two. Now, if you're using your MacBook, it's the same thing. Hold shift, press two to take you there. And that's basically how you can do it. Select this guy and you zoom into it. Select this guy, you can zoom into it and that is one of the ways you can zoom into items very very quickly and that is shift plus two number two not number one number two now there are other ones like uh, shift plus one that can zoom out you can completely zoom out of the screen you can press shift plus two to get back into that particular frame you selected before and it works seamlessly Another one I'd like to show you guys is flipping an object. So we have this car and I want to flip this car to the other side. I don't want it to face right. I want it to face left. All I need to do is hold shift and press letter H. Letter H and it will flip the car the other way. You can also flip it back again. Shift plus H, shift plus H, shift plus H. And it takes you. If you want to flip the car vertically, hold shift and press v and it flips it vertically shift plus v it brings it back and the same process on and on paste and replace so with paste and replace you can basically change a frame any frame at all and you can replace it where you want another frame to take over let's say you designed a home screen um which is like a v1 or a version 1 of a particular mvp and you have a version 2 and that home screen is in a mock-up is in a mock-up and you want to change you want to replace that home screen without having to do so much all you need to do is let's copy this we're going to copy this and then we'll duplicate this just move it to the side a bit all right we've copied the other design all you need to do is very easy right click on it and you're going to see paste to replace or you can use the shortcut control plus shift plus arrow and once we click on this it would replace that other design it just pasted and replaced that particular design you can see it's no longer in our board and that's how you can do this very easily 
I hope this has shown you a little of the shortcuts that I use for my day-to-day -day activities and I will see you very soon as usual.